Texas governor orders the state police to go find several absent lawmakers and get them back to work. And one of those lawmakers said they better be heavily armed. Now, the walkout by the Senate Republicans is to try to prevent a vote on a cap and trade bill. The plan aims to reduce emissions to 80 percent below 1990 levels by 2050. But Republicans say it would raise the price of fuel and hurt rural econo economies. Our Lisa Balick is live in Salem. She's been following the story. What did you find out today, Lisa? Well, I just spoke with Oregon Democratic Governor Kate Brown, who tells me she is confident that the Oregon State Police will do their job when it comes to rounding up the Republican lawmakers who should have been in the building today but weren't. Now, she says it's the only way to try and get the lawmakers and the legislature moving, since without those senators, there is not a quorum. Now, this morning at Senate roll call, all 11 Republicans were absent. They want the cap and trade bill sent to voters to decide on it. But if they were in the Senate, there would have been a vote by the Democratic supermajority that would have sent the bill to the governor to sign it into law instead. Now, Democratic Senate leaders say starting tomorrow, those skipping work will be charged $500 a day in fines. They can legally do that. Now, the Democratic Senate President Peter Courtney calls this the saddest day in his legislative life, having to call on the state police to round up his colleagues. I apologize to the citizens for taking them off the streets, out of their cars to find us. I apologize for asking him to help me make this branch of government work. Now, the Republican Senate leader said through a spokesman that most of his members are out of state, meaning state police does not have the jurisdiction to try and bring them back. Now, the state police just issued a statement saying, indicating that they don't intend to make any arrests. They will try and convince people if they find them to come back willingly, but they do have the authority to make arrests. We'll see what happens. Live in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. A lot of political drama mm -hmm. still to play out on this one. Thank you, Lisa. And of course, we're going to continue to track this story. You look for all our coverage.